Greetings. Okay, what I have here is the Army Painter War Games Mega Brush Set. Uh, a few years ago, I used to, um, or I had started doing the um, miniature wargaming things. You know what I'm talking about. Either way, um, back when I started then, I didn't use a whole lot of good tools. I used some really, really crappy stuff, like um, like one brushes like over here, something quite like this. These are the um, Artist Lofts. You can buy these in bulk at Michael's. They're not terrible, but they um, they aren't great either. Just kind of that cheap synthetic stuff right there. So either way, I decided that I wanted to uh, start getting back into this, and I get some better tools than I did last time. Because last time all I had were some cheap brushes, the Citadel paints, the, uh, I had an X-Acto knife and a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of sandpaper, and that was all I really used. And, uh, I mean, it worked, but, you know, it was a little crude and required a little bit more effort, so this time, I figured I'd start getting some, something that actually works well. Starting with here, the, um, Mega Brush Set, which includes a complete set of brushes to brush pretty much anything you'll need um, from your smallest miniatures to even your terrain which is what you use your big brush here for so yeah I picked this up on Amazon for $38 shipped marked down from 60 so it was a good price you get a grand total of 11 brushes the whoa 10 brush set plus a what they call a Kalinsky Masterclass brush. Now I'm not entirely certain what the exact difference. It's about the same size. You see, I've actually took the plastic off and looked at them already, but it's about the same size as what's called the character brush. So it's kind of a kind of a highlighting brush. I'm not sure what exactly it has over because the um, character brush is also a Kalinsky hair brush. So I'm not entirely certain what the difference is. Maybe maybe it's a slightly nicer build. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. As you can see, it's a handmade wargaming brushes with the famous Army Painter triangular handles, now including the awesome Kalinsky Masterclass brush. This set has all you need to paint armies and miniatures, and I guess that's pretty close to correct. Um, also, the triangular brushes, and I'll sh show you what those are here in just a bit, are part of the reason why I bought this. You know, so let's see, and on the back. See, we got the uh, War Games Mega Brush Set. Tell you what it is. And back here, we got a listing of each brush. We have the Psycho Brush from Molecular Precision. Same detail. Detail, character, regiment, monster, small dry brush, large dry brush, stippling, and the vehicle brush. And you get the pictures back here. Let me focus. There we go. All right. As you see, it shows all 10 brushes. The insane detail, stippling, all that good stuff. Special purpose had made, yes, triangle handles, we already know that. And of course, the masterclass brush. So, let's see what's inside, right? Let's see, let's dump this shit out. Oh, there you go. Alright, so we got your brushes, which is what you're paying money for. And let's see, oh yes, and you got the guide to using their war paints. Army Painter is great because they offer, you know, a whole line of good stuff to help you with your painting. So you got their color primers. I've used these before. They're great. Um, they got their war paints, which are pretty good. I'm going to be picking some up here in a few weeks. The quick shade. And this is a pretty handy little, uh, handy little guide. Just kind of introduces you to the basics of painting stuff yeah stuff you can download this online for free so you don't you don't even need to buy this you can download the PDF this is just a little advert yeah it's a little advert tool guide it shows you the different things they carry all good stuff all very good stuff selection of paints they got it's pretty small but their paints have a little bit of everything you need Okay, so we have the brushes right here. Oh, let's see, we'll line them each up. Okay, so you got your 
should put it on the right side. Vehicle terrain. Oh. So this, this is a synthetic hair. Very nice. Perfect for well, what, is it, what it says. Vehicles. Let's see. You got your got your monster. I believe this is the monster. Yes, it's the monster. It has the triangular handle. Now this kind of shows a little more why why I chose this particular set of everything else is this is much easier to hold. Um, like you see something compared to like this right here, you know, it's not so much right there. I, maybe some people like that. And then you put it around and it rolls away. This, there you go. You don't got to worry about that. And one second. Okay, sorry about that. Had a beep. We'll attend to that in a minute. Okay, and then, of course, let's see, next size down. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we have here the, yeah, as I showed, the monster brush. Nice, big, good for, you know, your hell brutes, your dreadnoughts, stuff like that. See, we got the regiment brush. That's kind of your uh, basing brush right here. Again, very nice sable hair. A little bit of loose hair there, but still very nice. Next one down, we got the character brush. Like I said, this is about the one I'll, I'll compare this to the uh, masterclass brush here in just a bit, so you can kind of see the difference. If I can pull this off, see the difference. Liner, better for detailing. Okay. And of course the detail brush. Again, fine brush. Point it in. You know, great for those little details. Of course you got your On. There we go. Got your insane detail brush, and that's when you're really getting down in there. Uh, those little bits and bobs, maybe bigger eyes, stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, this is a really, really tiny brush. Right there. Very small. You know, you could probably get in and just about get anything with that. And uh, the last of the round brushes is the Psycho Detail Brush. Now this this is tiny. When I first opened this, I thought I might have accidentally uh, taken some of the hairs off the end when I took the safety off, but no, that's literally all there is to it. I actually have a 18 over a zero that I used to use for things like eyes, and it, this is smaller than that. Like I can't. I wish I if I had the brush, I'd compare it, but. That this is t the tiniest brush I've ever personally seen. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be my go to for little details like, again, the eyes, or I mean, that's going to be pretty much it. That's all I can think of. Most of the other stuff will be fine with the um, regular detail or insane detail. And of course, you got your stipling brush. I don't use this, just a kind of a bonus. Maybe someone else might like it. Very nice. And then, of course, you have your dry brushes. You have the large dry brush. Again, larger stuff, larger characters, uh, your vehicles, stuff like that. And, of course, your uh, small dry brush. One of these days, I'll get this point in the right way. There we go. There we go. Come on. Focus. Someday I'll focus as well. Someday I'll have a proper camera. Either way. Anyways, and of course, the bonus you get in the set is the Kolinsky Masterclass brush. Comes in this nice clamshell package. Yeah, pictures on the back. I don't know if you can buy this separately or not, but for free, it's not bad. It's good to have an extra. Your uh, your character brush, your highlighting brush, you're going to be using that a lot. It's going to wear through a lot faster, so 
becomes important having one an extra spare on hand. So, as you can see, hey, I got it right up this time. Wargamer Kolinsky Masterclass. A lot less focus though. Let's see if that helps. No, it does not. Awesome. Hey, if I put it all the way down here, but all right, you can see if I take the lint that it's uh, got a pretty small, small, uh, small end. Let me get the, uh, where is it at? Right here. Yeah, that's a character brush. You can compare them in size. See, they're about the same size, so they would perform about the same function. Highlighting, maybe some larger details and good stuff like that. So, but either way. It cost me a grand total, like I said, about $38. You can purchase these things on Amazon, usually between $40 and $45, uh, and that's including shipping. It's a very good price for a very good set of brushes, and I, you know, I would recommend using these over the uh, cheap crap that you uh, pick up at, 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 like, Walmart or Michaels. You know, I know they have some, you know, it's not quite your uh, Windsor and Newtons, but they'll do the job. All right, thanks, bye-bye.